in some of these my, some of my slides I, I, I haven't plotted the data for, for women because we have only two women so you can't you can't run statistics on two women uh, okay these are the data we, I, I was talking about these are recent data 2002 published on a, by the Center of Disease Control and Prevention so almost 30 percent of the American people die for heart diseases and uh, cancer is 23 percent. Cerebrovascular disease is another 7 percent. Type 2 diabetes is around 4 percent. Hypertension and renal disease is, I don't remember, it's 1 percent, something like that. So 40.5 percent of the people in, Amer in America and in Western countries are dying for diseases that are they have a common basis of the metabolic syndrome that is preventable so we can really have a huge impact with lifestyle modification of on on these diseases so we can reduce this easily and we know that we can reduce this 40.5 percent and I want to tell you that hypertension for example heart disease the you have myocardial infarction where hypertension and high cholesterol smoking are major risk factor but also heart failure hypertension and atherosclerosis are two major risk factors and Im important in, in the prognosis and pathophysiology these are the risk factors for cardiovascular disease I, 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 I just told you the family family history you can change it that's genetic but you can, you can impact your hypercholesterolemia, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, and insulin resistance, smoking. These are part of the metabolic syndrome due to visceral obesity, so high, triglycer high triglyceridemia, low HDL, and hyperinsulinemia, high C-reactive protein, and hyper. These are the data. Total cholesterol. Uh, they have just published last week the data, s I think s more than 55% of the medical population has a total cholesterol more than 200. So this data, and these data are perfectly in line with uh, the, the data that that's the, the at least the, 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 the average cholesterol for, for, for the American people. And you see that Calorie-restricted people, they have 150. Raw people, they have slightly less, 147, if I well remember. And vegan also, they have. So these data tell us that uh, you can be on an omnivore diet, so eating animal products, but being calorie-restricted and have a low cholesterol. But you can be on a normal uh, so not calorie restricted diet, but vegan diet, vegeta pretty vegetarian diet, that have the same benefit for cholesterol. It's probably relative to calorie restricted. Vegans, yes, yeah, but they don't con they, 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 they do not control the the, 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 the the calorie intake. I mean, I think it's halfway with the, the calorie intake between the calorie restricted and the and the. I think it's 22, 20, 20 point something. Oh, quite, quite sure uh, 22. Uh, this is the historical data. As you can see, this is th this is supporting that calorie restriction is able to decrease consistently total cholesterol during the diet. This is LDL cholesterol, as you can see, 120 in the USA population, and 70 and, no, uh, uh, 80 something and less than 75, I think, in the uh, raw food people, and 90, so there is a huge drop in LDL cholesterol. HDL cholesterol, on the contrary, 
it's not a statistical difference, but there is a tendency to be ha to have higher uh, HDL cholesterol in raw and calorie restricted, and that's that's nice because most of the diet intervention normally lower cholesterol, L LDL cholesterol, but lower also HDL cholesterol instead of with calorie restriction. Looks like that we don't have this bad effect of a uh, of the diet. The cholesterol HDL ratio is improved 2.5 versus 4 and also here the historical data you can see that there is a wonderful drop of the cholesterol HDL ratio during color restriction. One of the striking effects of color restriction is triglyceride, low triglyceride. As you can see we are talking about 40 for color restricted and raw. 60 for vegans compared to 120 in the normal population. Also the triglyceride HDL ratio that it's, it's a new marker that some people are using to to Surrogate give a yeah. insulin. insulin sensitivity. Surrogate yes exactly marker. exactly and and the historical data here triglyceride there is a dramatic drop from 160 to, to, to this value that are 43, 44, I remember. Also, systolic blood pressure has a dramatic effect. As you can see, the, I think that 25% of the American population has a blood pressure more than 140 or 90. And that, that's age adjusted. And if you go to uh, more than 60 years old, it's 50% of the American population, at least 50% at least of the American population has a blood pressure more than 140 or 90. And as you know, blood pressure is a, ris uh, is a potent risk factor for coronary heart disease, heart failure, and stroke. That, as you, as you have seen, it, that they are causing s stroke and, and, and heart disease are causing almost 35 percent of the death in the American population. So you see here it's systolic blood pressure is 100, 105, diastolic is 60, 60. Uh, these are the data on, on the historical data from most, most of you they were starting from a normal blood pressure and still they had a drop a huge drop in, 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 in blood pressure. That's against most studies that said that with, blood pre with, with a diet you can't lower blood pressure more than 5, 8 millimeter of mercury. That's not true. It's, you can see that it's not true starting from a normal blood pressure. And what's, what's great that both you and the, and the raw food people, they don't have a problem in... Um, there is a baroreceptor adjustment so that you can change quickly posture without any problem of dizziness of so there is a readjustment of, of the baroreceptors to these uh, low, blood, low blood pressure levels and also heart rate as you see it's lower in calorie restricted so uh, that tells us that it's, it's well uh, that it's not damaging the, 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 the functionality of, 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 the, of the people on, on calorie restriction. This is C-reactive protein. That 